Hi, everyone. Welcome uh, back to the uh, podcast. If you're watching, if you're new, I should say, uh, welcome. If you're a veteran, welcome back. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, thanks for taking the time. I know it takes a little more time sometimes to watch things than to to listen, but you can always check out the, uh, the podcast, the audio version too. But uh, today we're going to talk about kennel lat latches. Kennel in general. Kennel in general. Outdoor, but, out, out, outdoor kennels. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Not, yeah. Not the little, you know. Yeah, not that crate. Yeah, not crate. crate. Not kennel, crate. Kennel. Kennel. Yeah. Like how to build a kennel so it's safe. Yeah. Yeah. For the dog and efficient and effective and yeah. all that stuff. All the good stuff. You know. So it's got to be basically kind of just step by step. Uh, explanation yeah you know what makes it a good kennel yeah because you had kennels you said you worked at kennel i mean you have a lot of experience with kennels oh yeah and and dogs you know they when you put them in the kennel they have nothing else to do than to figure out how to, what to f this next right <laughs> or, so, or how to get out how like to it's get like out a jail and cell. how to destroy and all <laughs> that like and how cell. to jump over and <laughs> yeah you know so yeah. So there is that, and then of course we want to keep the dog safe from heat and uh -huh. stuff like that, right? Yeah. So, so there's different levels of kennels, right? Um, but if you want to just build a simple kennel for your home, this is not a, about commercial kennel building. Uh -huh. That I can, a friend of mine has a really nice kennel, and he has pretty good, uh, I think, video on that. You know, Mark. Yeah. Or Angel, as he likes to call himself. Yeah. Uh, but but this is not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about you get a dog, and uh, <clears throat> you should have an outdoor kennel. You know. Um, Why is it so important to have an outdoor kennel? The problem with outdoor kennel is that people become lazy and they lock the dog up there and they don't pay much attention to it. That's a bad thing. Uh huh. But the g good thing is that uh, if you have an um, outdoor kennel, you have people who are allergic, come visit you, who are allergic or afraid, yeah. you know, of the dogs and yeah. all that. Yeah. And they are your friends, you yeah. know, so you want to kind of, or they may have bring a dog with them. Uh -huh. So you, 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 you want to make your guests comfortable if, in case mm. they're afraid of dogs or something like that. Yeah. And also... <clears throat> if they are afraid of the dog, they uh, they they may do wrong motions and yeah. that may lead to liability. You know, the dog comes and jumps them, and they put their hands up yeah. like this, and the dog uh, that trips yeah. the dog. We all know it. If you have a dog, you, right? You've seen it, yeah. Right. Yeah. So so, and then they may bite, and then your friend suddenly will sue you. you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, and then you wouldn't your... believe who will sue you when they get bit by your dog. You know, your mother. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding, but not necessarily. Yeah, there was a woman, that sister, that sued her sister. Oh, yeah. That was horrible. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. Uh, we good, talked good. about it. I don't know which episode we, we put, published it, but um, it was about kids. Kids and dogs. That was that. Is episode. it published yet? Um, I don't think so. No, it's not. You know, at this time, at least. When yeah, we're listening, should, but yeah, we have so many coming. of them. Man. Yeah. Um, yeah, what... Uh, what happened there was uh, the woman went uh, on vacation with her husband and her children, and she had a daughter, I mean, I'm sorry, sister, yeah. who was watching the house and a dog. Mm -hmm. And she had a little four-year-old girl and uh, the sister. Yeah. And this, the girl was teasing the dog, doing like, ah, like this, and backing up the dog in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. And the stupid sister thought it's funny and let her do it. Yeah. And eventually dog was cornered, didn't know what to do, so he snapped at her and put a little gash on her forehead. And of course forehead bleeds a lot. Yeah. So it looked horrible. Yeah. Right. So fire department came and uh, ambulances yeah. and yeah. and uh <clears throat> this this sister who was watching the house, I call her poor sister, she she had a husband uh who drank and didn't make enough money. So the rich sister whose house it was and the dog yeah. it was, she was giving her every year their car and then they bought new car and all that and and helping her yeah. pay rent and all that. And, you know, anyway, 
the the poor sister is which let the her kid tease the dog when the rich sister was gone with her husband sue her mm-hmm. sue her sister for that little yeah. half an inch little gash on the forehead and uh <clears throat> The medical bill was like four thousand dollars, which is not that much. Uh. And uh, they sue, and I guess they sued out like forty thousand. But the rich sister tell her poor sister, you know, go pound sold after that. Obviously, yeah. So you know, yeah. if they would have an outdoor kennel, yeah. Going back to that, yeah. You just put the dog in the back backyard kennel, back, back, you know, somewhere in the backyard, yeah. and uh, while you're gone for a few days, you can keep the dog there, and the people can come and just hose it off. And you should have like a tray to put food there in and out, and don't even let the dog out. Mm-hmm. You know, just hose the shit under the dog for a few days, and that's it. But uh, it's important that the kennel is built correctly. First of all the place the dog kennel needs to be in place where all day every day is a shade okay all day yeah especially when you live in places like arizona yeah right yeah. gotta have a shade okay yeah, it's not like morning living it's just it's shade. yeah you, it's you know be... you may have a shade in the morning or in the afternoon but if you don't have it at noon or whatever the yeah. dog will croak okay yeah. if you leave it there so so you gotta have a shade. Then it should be on concrete platform. If you don't have a concrete platform, your backyard may have a porch which has a concrete, and it's under the roof, like in my house, for example. Yeah. So you can put the kennel right there under that roof on that concrete which is already there. Yeah. Right. Or you can put it under a tree or something. But it's best if the kennel is close to your house rather than on the other side of the yard, mm-hmm. right? The dog feel like closer to you. Mm-hmm. And then um, the material, right? You can go and buy some cheap kennel from PetSmart or Home Depot or stuff. And the problem there is that the, um, that the uh, wires in that kennel are too thin, uh-huh. so high gauge. Uh-huh. High meaning, higher thin. number. Yeah, thin. right. The higher the number, the the chintzier the wire is. Yeah. Right. So, best is uh, the kennel. If 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 it has a ch- if it's a cheap wiring, what happens is the dog are bored and they grab on and start yanking on it. Yeah. Right. And eventually, it just and it keeps coming apart, and and yeah. then you have a loose dog. Right. Yeah. So I think. I think the 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 proper gauge, I think it's 14 gauge or, or, or bigger, like 12 gauge or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's really solid. Okay. And uh, I always say, it, you know, you should be, if you cut a piece of the fencing, the wire from the chain link fence, uh-huh. four inches long, four inches, yeah. you should not be able to bend it with your fingers unless you are Arnie's a, Ar- 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 Arnie's a giant or whatever. Oh, the, you know, yeah, the, you, know, just, you, just, you should not right. be able to bend it if it's about like four inches long. Yeah, yeah. You sh- if you can bend it, it's not strong enough. Okay, okay, okay. okay. It's kind of, you know, and I'm talking like a normal, strong, average man, yeah. you know, not, not Andre as a giant. Oh, yeah, the, Andre, yeah, the wrestler, yeah, Andre. Andre yeah. The giant. <laughs> yeah. So, so there, and, um, and then also if you, can get there is like what's called tennis court uh, chain link fence okay you know when tennis players play tennis and the tennis ball hits and it gets stuck, stuck. right in the, there right so they make a fence which has these squares a little smaller mm-hmm. that's a good it's expensive mm-hmm. but it's good for um, kennels so what you do mm. don't don't go to you know big brick store like Home Depot or, or PetSmart or somewhere where they sell these things and and and, and hire a f- chain link or, or ch- a fence company like American uh-huh. Fence Company or uh-huh. 
whatever. They specialize in uh, Well, they, they build fences. Well, they know. They, right? Like, if you are going to put fence around property, that's who you're going to hire. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You have a fence company. You tell them, hey, and they know what they're doing, right? Yeah. At least they should. Because, you know, and uh, so what you do, you tell them, I want to I wanna build a... I want you to build a kennel for me. Yeah. And you tell them you they gotta be high, uh, you know, low gauge or high gauge, I don't know, the thick thicker wire, right? The smaller number of the gauge, 14 gauge, I think yeah. it is. And uh then there's few things you need to pay attention to, okay? Um when when you when you're ordering the 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 kennel, it'll cost some money, but believe me, it's much cheaper than your dog get away and get hit by car yeah. or bite somebody or something like that, yeah. right? So the kennel should be, I would say, about five by eight or five by ten feet. Okay. That doesn't have to be much bigger or much smaller. So the length has to be roughly ten feet. Yeah, but I, I build most of my eight, kennels by eight feet, but ten feet is nice. Okay. You know, you know. Okay. And wide five feet. Okay. And the kennel door could be split so you have a like one on the bottom or mm -hmm. like a step so if you have a puppies yeah and you open the kennel they don't they, they don't pour out like a uh, water out of the bucket yeah <laughs> okay yeah. so so you have you have about i don't know you know what is this two, two feet, feet yeah, yeah two about feet, two yeah. feet yeah. you know fence uh -huh. so when you, you're just opening the upper part got it you know, and uh, <clears throat> and and uh, then you should have a tray. So not for you, but if somebody else is watching your dog, you don't want them to take the dog out of the kennel. Mm -hmm. So you pull the tray, take the dish, wash it out, put it back in. Mm -hmm. There's two dishes, one for water, one for yeah. um, food. Yeah. And... Um, and then you fill it up with food and put it back. And uh -huh. the dog can't get out. Just like when you go to bank, they have this guy, yeah, you know. Yeah. Same type of yeah. setup, contraption. Mm -hmm. Usually the dish for uh, like that is not sufficient amount of water. What I do, I buy big four gallon, three or five gallon stainless steel bucket. Okay. Which will cost you probably 40 bucks, but it'll last forever. Yeah. You can use plastic buckets like from Home Depot and stuff, but the dog will rip them up and all that, uh -huh. or they just crack and all that. You keep, you gotta keep buying them over and over. If you, you buy, I have, I have some. I bought some stainless steel kennel buckets mm -hmm. like 15 years ago, and I still have them. Okay, right, and they cost back then about 30 bucks, and okay. probably now would cost 50. Okay, you know, considering the inflation. And you 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 use a clip, uh -huh. you know they sell clip with two two ends, you know. So you use a clip, yeah, and clip it to the chain link fence somewhere in the corner, and then fill it up with the hose with so water. They can't mess with it. Yeah, so you cannot knock it, it over. Yeah, right? no water. Yeah, and uh, and then okay, then going back to the fence company when you're telling them what to do, make sure. So they're gonna sell you panels with clamps and all that, and you put it. Together, so you're gonna mm -hmm. have uh, two ten footers, how high? Six feet, mm -hmm. right? And uh, uh, then you have the back, and then you have the gate. <coughs> so you have four panels that are put together with clamps, mm -hmm. and they have those clamps in the fence companies, right? So you gotta okay. buy, and and each panels have to be connected with at least two clamps, okay. right? So you would have, you have a four corners, two clamps, that's eight clamps minimum. Okay. Right? Yeah. Um, so you, uh, you, you put the can, you, so when you're ordering the kennel, the panels should have about, what is this, two inches? Um, maybe like three. Three inches. Yeah. Knobs on the bottom. Okay. So the, the horizontal pipe, of the kennel of yeah. the of the of the frame is not sitting on the ground uh -huh. but it's elevated because the panel has the knob okay. on the bottom on each okay. pipe vertically down there's a knob okay 
it, it, you know, does it make sense? Yeah, yeah. You know, um, we should make pictures, maybe. Well, we'll try to put see if I can picture find up. pictures, yeah. and, and I'll send them to you if I can find them. Yeah, because if you if you if they just make you perfectly square panels, yeah, and the pipe is laying on the ground when you're hosing it, the shit will get caught on that all the time on that pipe, right? So you're hosing it off, so if one of the debris, the spilled food, and the, the poop and all that go under that horizontal pipe, which is then like two and a half, three inches above the ground. Yeah. And that's, so the, the, the panels sit on these knobs. I see. Which it's are kind like, of floating. A little, so it's sitting, you know, the, the horizontal pipe is, uh, is, uh, about three is, inches above. is two, three inches. You don't want too much. I mean, that's about it. You don't want too much because then, then the puppies will get under, yeah, right? So yeah. about two inches. So okay. they, about the diameter of average dog shit. How is that? <laughs> <laughs> Hans measures uh, things. Yeah, that's how I measure things on the side. Of a dog shit. Um, so so anyway, you know. So that and you gotta and check on it because what I I I bought I don't know thousands of dollars of panels and they forgot to put those knobs. Okay. So the pipes are laying on the ground. So that's what I have to. So I don't have the heart to take it back to them. I say, hey, you guys, who messed up. I, I want another five thousand dollars worth of fencing. You know, to reduce yeah. this. You know, I just, you know, I'm not that type of a guy. Yeah. So what I did, I just cut piece of two by fours uh -huh. and set the panels on the two oh, by I fours, see. you know, okay. and two by fours is two inches. So that's about so the right height. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So each corner I have a little two by four. And that raised it. That raised that the height. panels above the ground okay. so that yeah. I, when I could hose it, Got it. The, the shit, I could push it out of the kennels under that pipe. Yeah. Under that lower horizontal pipe. That's really important, believe me. Okay. Yeah. Another thing is, which is really important, uh, you know, if you have like a um, porch, uh -huh. it's usually sloping already. But if you do specifically concrete um, platform for, for the, the kennel, make sure it's sloping. Yeah, all the water. So, so the Everything. water when you're hosing it down runs off, and make it slope pretty good. Okay. Don't make like a little tiny slope. Make okay. it make it slope. Okay. You know. Okay. And then you pour that concrete and 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 all that, so the water runs down. Okay. You know, yeah. and there's no depression in it, which would bottle the water and all that. <coughs> you know, stress to the concrete guy. That yeah. you want it really, love. I mean, really, not wavy the yeah. concrete. You want the water and that you to want it down. to slope it down, yeah. maybe I don't know three inches per ten feet or something mm -hmm. like that. You mm -hmm. know, so it's really sloping. Yeah, you know, you wouldn't want to build shed on something sloping that much. But then this, but the kennel, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And um, and 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 then you know, <clears throat> you. Uh, it depends how fancy you want to get, right? You, yeah. you know, because if you're hosing it off, then the then the poop and and wet dog food and whatever is out, but then you gotta pick it up or something, right? Yeah, why would you? Why why are you hosing it out versus picking up the poop inside? Because I'm a stranger to the dog, and somebody else is watching my oh, dog. Oh, I see. And the oh, I see what you mean. Okay, right. Okay. And also when the dog has diarrhea or, or well, yeah, soft, stuff, yeah. okay. soft shit yeah. and runs over you it, it's going to gonna be all over the floor. So you got to hose it. Got it. Okay. You know, pe well, yeah, you can pick it if it's a little yeah. dirt, but, but then you need to go in the kennel. So you're talking you about someone that, 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 yeah, yeah, okay. yeah you got to make it, you got to make it uh, user friendly for strangers got it. to take care okay. of your dog. Understood. You know, okay. and, um, I mean, it's one of the reasons why you build the kennel. You don't, you know, you may have a reliable neighbor, or better yet, there there are businesses who will come and take care of your dogs when yeah. they're gone. You know, it's it's usually generally better to put the dog in a kennel, professional kennel. Yeah. But if you cannot do it or whatever, and you have a reliable f family member or somebody, yeah. Of course, there is a danger that they will forget your dog, right? And don't feed it for 14 days. Yeah, yeah. You know. I know a guy that, I mean, I saw his finger. I mean, it's this formed. He didn't do the surgery, but it was his neighbor's dog. And, and uh, the dog was friendly always, he said. And 
he was there his child was there too luckily nothing happened to the child but the dog he said he just all of a sudden I, I, that's what he said i don't know and he went for his his hand and did not let go and i mean it broke it bad yeah that's why you don't want to open the damn door right yeah of the kennel yeah. as a matter of fact you may want to put a padlock on it or something i'll come to the latches also that mm -hmm. would be another thing okay but 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 the kennel you know is 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 good that somebody can for a few days watch your dog there how many days would you say like you know well the problem when you put the dog in a kennel and leave they may bark because they're frustrated they don't know what the hell oh, is sure. going on okay. and then your neighbors are gonna okay. call cops and all that shit. but know? let's so, say you know you're further out and fine that's I mean, why it's good to keep the dog in the kennel sometimes yeah, yeah. so they're used to it oh, it's yeah. not like a first time yeah you just don't ever you yeah. put the dog in the kennel when yeah. you go on two and then weeks you vacation come back and yeah, the dog is just okay. like howling yodeling all night and, yeah yeah <laughs> Hans, Hans is speaking from experience <laughs> yeah yeah that's everything is from experience <laughs> this is not he's not a theorist <laughs> right 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 so so anyway but even if you don't let other people board your dog mm -hmm. i mean watch your dog uh, while you're gone mm -hmm. you know um it's good to obey by all these rules mm -hmm. you know which i'm putting here yeah you know like uh <clears throat> and you don't want if you have a neighbor or anybody watching your kennel you don't want them to open the damn kennel yeah bottom line because the dog will whatever it could get out and they won't be able to put him in and jump the fence go looking for you forever yeah, gone in my car could be a biting them or, or <laughs> something whatever all, all you know of. it's just it's just put the damn dog in that kennel put a padlock on it lock it tell them the key in case of emergency it's over there but don't touch it otherwise unless the dog is dying or something yeah, right or the, something's on fire or something. right right yeah. right you know yeah. and and they don't need to go there just okay. put a food in front of them water in front of them and, like, and you have that gut bucket there right uh -huh. so now you say how you fill it up well you, i just put a hose yeah. in it and let it run for 15 minutes and yeah. it'll, it'll, it'll yeah. fill itself up and replenishes the clean water how many days can the dog be in there well depends i mean within well, reason you know i'm just you know whole life you know <laughs> so <laughs> i don't recommend it no i know i know i know but but the kennel design allows for the dog to be there forever not that you should do that yeah yeah but you go for a week of vacation or something yeah a week like, vacation or something okay you know. roughly okay yeah a week or two maybe even, okay you okay. know okay uh just just okay. uh because it can move around it's big yeah, enough a lot of times what people do they just leave the dog in the house and they let neighbors 17 year old kid to come take care of the dog and dog will run through the door when the kid opens you know yeah. the door and they just just don't do that Too many if you don't have a kennel in the backyard like i'm describing it you're better off just to take it to commercial kennel yeah yeah <coughs> And again, you want the commercial kennel look like a prison, not like a living room. Yeah. You know, you have these touchy feely uh, kennels and all yeah. that. No, yeah. you want a kennel, which, you know, you feel like you're in a prison, <laughs> you know, like, I know, I know what like Alcatraz. Man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kennel. That's the type of kennel you want. Trust me. Yeah. Right. I, I, I sold a dog to a guy, which was, a, he wanted a badass dog. So I sold him badass dog. And he put him in the kennel, man. And the kennel master put the dog in the kennel and he was closing the door. Uh -huh. And my client, he was already in his car uh -huh. driving away. And, and as he was pushing the door closed and closed it, the dog grabbed him through the fence by yeah. the hand. Yeah. So, so the chain link fence was sandwiched between his teeth and the guy's hand, right? And the dog wouldn't let go. He was pretty badass. Yeah. And he kind of did this, you know, uh, yeah. I, I, I would like to say, it, you know, copulating this air, let's <laughs> okay. put it that way. Okay. <coughs> you know, while he's and hanging the, and, and while he's holding him by the hand. 
<laughs> the guy, the kennel master, he reached for the cell phone while the dog was doing all oh, this and called him, hey, come on, boy, I can't scroll the dog. Because he couldn't reach the dog around the door. I see. Wow. Right? You see what I mean? And luckily, his cell phone was in his pocket. Yeah, otherwise, he still would be there right now. <laughs> <laughs> she or his wife was wandering around, where is my husband? So he probably called you, obviously told you the story. Yeah, yeah, that's how I found out. Yeah. yeah. You know, so. If you enjoyed this content so far, please subscribe to our channel. Also, Hans has a podcast channel called Dog Training for Life. Check that out so you can listen to the audio version. So, you know, you gotta, if it would be the tennis court uh, chain link fence, then this wouldn't be possible. It's too small, yeah. Yeah, you know. And then, of course, if it's outdoor kennel, you should have a roof on it. And not just a roof like of, of your porch, but also a roof flat on the top of the kennel because dogs will climb out or jump out. Yeah. You know? <laughs> the snow. You know, the first thing you see when I when I go and put the dog in the kennel, you can start looking. They look around like, like where, where can I get it? Oh, that's a, <laughs> <they're> like prisoners. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so so you, you, you should have another panel uh -huh. to put it up there. Uh-huh. You know, so you should have now five panels, really. Mm -hmm. But it could be a little chintzier panel. Yeah. And you've got to make sure that that panel on the top uh, is wired. Yeah. So you take a, not baling wire, but real solid kind of fencing wire yeah. and, and run it spiral around, all around, so the dog cannot come climb up there and lift it with the nose and get over it. Yeah. If you needed shading... Yeah. Again, remember, the sun is traveling, so the shade changes. You can put a, uh, in Arizona, the best uh, roof for shade are old cedar fences panels. Because of the sun? Or? Because the sun, because it doesn't ra create radiated heat. Uh -huh. If you would put, let's say, sheet metal, mm -hmm. like corrugated metal, like, yeah. you know, and, and sun hits it. Yeah. That metal heats up and radiates the heat down into the kennel. Yeah. Where if you use this cedar fence uh, a panel, yeah, that won't happen. Yeah. The, the 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 cedar will not radiate the heat Got through it. The, through it, right? Okay. And plus there are little slits in between, so the air kind of can circulate yeah. while it's still generating enough uh, shade. So good for warm, definitely yeah. for warm weather. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But with the snow. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I remember I was working, I was living in a kennel, I'm not going to say any names, and uh, I was up in Wyoming, and they had a kennels, but they didn't have a out, indoor-outdoor. So the and dog would be indoors during the the uh, night, or night, and yeah. they had a heaters inside yeah. of the kennel. Yeah. So the dog were comfy, Yeah. right? And But the outside run didn't have a top. Yeah, they don't think they need it until and until <laughs> until one day the kennel master come in and start opening the guillotine doors. Yeah, and the dog and there's a snow, right? So the dogs are digging out outside because they they every day they go out, so they know they should go out, and they they made this little tunnel into the snow, and the snow is so high, like six feet overnight. Yeah, and the dogs just <laughs> went all the way up and just walk away. <laughs> You know, over the top of the kennel. Oopsie. Yeah, well, we got yeah. all the dogs back, but, uh, you know, you have this little fluffy lasso up, so, you know, 40 below zero, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, yeah. coyotes and all that. Yeah. Uh, highway. Oh, not, not good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's my dog? Oh, okay. Yeah, well, we got out of the kennel because there was too much snow in it. <laughs> what? You could put that picture of the Czech border patrol shoveling that's, the snow. Yeah, because that's what, you're, what, yeah. what reminded you of. Yeah, of yeah, it. yeah. So, so that's another reason why you want to have a top there. You know, if the snow Multiple comes in and, and you have a dog in yeah. it, the snow will build up. And, you know, in some region, oh yeah, serious you snow. get a lot of snow. Like even when I was in Wyoming, you know, I mean, one day I remember I opened the door and all I see is the snow and imprint of my door in the snow that 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 you know I hope, and there's a snow you know? <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so yeah you gotta count on those things and um and then you have the latches right yeah latches there's there there are uh, uh, kennel latches 
specific. And again, I'll get you a picture of them. Okay. So, okay. And, and, and they open up like you got to lift and open, <coughs> right? With the idea that most dogs can't figure out how to open it. But I guarantee you their dogs, they open it, yeah. you know. So there is a little hole. So you take a clip like you have on the leash uh-huh. and hook it up to it. And, and it, you, they can raise it so it won't turn. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what happens is, and I've seen it and I've read about it. People put the latch in the middle of the door, which yeah. is kind of, you know, feng shui type way to do sure. it, right? Feng shui is important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not in this case. No. Right? So if you put it in the middle, the dog, like German Shepherd or yeah. so, can just have a clear access to the latch. Yeah. And they lift it up and open it. Yeah. And dog is out. Or I had the dog, which would just, you couldn't bend it with the pliers, but he sure yeah. as hell could bend it with his teeth. Yeah. He drove me nuts because he was breaking his teeth and all that. And, yeah. and, 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 but, but you know, that's what dogs do. Yeah. Right. That's what they do. So, so the, the people, what they do, they, they raise, put the latch a little higher. I've done that stupid stuff. Yeah. No accident happened, but you know, but I, I've done it. So, so they raise the latch up so the dog cannot open it. Instead yeah. of putting clip in it, they just raise it up because yeah. they don't want to screw around with the clip. It's an extra step. Yeah. So what happened in one kennel I read about, it was a St. Bernard kennel. As the latch was all the way up, the dog was able to bend the door by pushing into mm-hmm. it. And, and as, he, as, he, as, as the dog pushed into the door, it created gap enough to stick the head through it. And, and, and the, the head acted like a trap and dog basically got killed yeah. that way. Yeah. So then people start putting two latches on one high, one low uh-huh. and all that. So that's not a bad idea. Uh-huh. Just, just put the leash clip on it. There is like a little hole yeah. and you put the leash uh, clip on it. Yeah. So the dog can not open that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. You know, and make sure you tighten them up because the dog really good. And, you know, because, and, and, and retighten it like a few days later because the dog, they push so high, hard at the door that the, that the, the, the clasp, clamp, yeah. which holds the latch actually turns. Yeah. And as it turns, you know, as it turns, yeah, the door can open. Yeah. That happened many times yeah. too. Yeah. You know, yeah, so these you are the things you know people don't. Yeah, people, know, people don't realize that. Yeah. So you gotta make sure yeah. that the that the latch is really, really good, tight, really good, and yeah. you need to check on it and retighten it because the heat, uh-huh. cold thing will the metal cause, expanding and uh, yeah, will yeah. kind of you know loosen up the the, yeah. the nuts. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Okay, so what else? I think that was it. The latch. Those were the. You you yeah, were, we started with the lodge, but since, yeah. uh, you know, we were going to just talk about that. But, uh, you know, there's more to it than just lodge, you know. Yeah. Uh, so I think I covered everything. I think so. I mean, uh, this is like a real important, you know, just don't, when you build a kennel, don't don't use it as a con- convenience just to put the dog in there and don't allow it in the house and just so not socializing with it. We will develop all sorts of behavior problem with the dog. Yeah. The kennel is there only when you go to work or uh, yeah. now and then, you know, yeah. you put the dog in it Yeah. when you need to, but don't make it like the dog is there yeah. 24-7. Yeah. Because you will destroy a dog by doing that. Yeah. You know. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure people might have uh, questions uh, underneath the video about this, or you might give some links out if you have anything, if you want, I'm not sure. Well, best is always uh, get a local fence company. They okay. know how to build these. Just don't forget those knobs on the bottom of the kennel. We'll put the picture up. I think that'll help so yeah, visualize it. No, i got to find a picture of it somewhere. Yeah. Okay. I have kennels like that. Maybe I can take oh, a just take a picture. Yeah. Kennels. There you go. Yeah. Good. All right. Well. Uh, thank yeah, you. I got to clean up the kennels now. That's right. <laughs> Maybe that'll, that'll, that'll be an excuse for Hans to clean up the kennels. Yeah. Um, thank you for uh, giving us knowledge on this one. This was, a, I think, an important one, especially people that, that are thinking or might even have a kennel. I think they might be even going out there and I checking. I personally think that everybody should have one. Okay. You don't have to. But yeah. It's not a bad idea because the, the things that you said – 
you know, you can have... Imagine you have emergency. Yeah. Right? Let me say this. Yeah. Your mother is uh, dying. You need to leave, like, right now. Right now. You put the dog in the kennel and call your friend and say, hey, take care of my dog. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Which then it's kind of, you should show your friend ahead. Right. If or you can something. even, even, even you can just, uh, yeah. Uh, educate them over the phone. You yeah. know, just hold the oh, dog and hold, uh, yeah. hold the, the yeah. shit away from the feet of the dog. Yeah. And the urine. Yeah. And feed it with the drawer. Yeah. This much and this much food is there and there. Yeah. And you know, this bucket fun. with water, make sure it's always full. Yeah, get some food. You know, if yeah. it's, if the water is murky, which it will be every day, let the water run into the, for yeah. five minutes, it'll, It'll clear up. Clear it Don't up, go yeah. inside of the kennel. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. You know, and, <clears throat> you know, as I said, you may have an emergency. You may not even be able to put the dog in commercial kennel. You need to leave like right no. now. Yeah. No, know? that's a that's a great point, which we could, yeah. could happen. So, all right. Thank you, Hans. You bet. Uh, please subscribe, share, um, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, share. Share. Sharing is share good. Share will help us. We're getting uh, closer to the... Uh, Thousand dollars where I got still making zero. I mean, thousand, thousand subscribers, subscribers. Thousand, yeah. where I can yeah. start making 0. 0.003 cents per view. Now we're talking, we're gonna get to oh, that point. Now we uh, are, now we are at Fat City. Now we're, <laughs> now we're cooking, <laughs> we're cooking with gas. Oh, that's illegal now, right? Yes, <laughs> or getting of that. course. Um, please visit uh, Alpine K9 Real dot com and Hans has educational videos there, the personal protection series, uh, how to feed puppy raw, uh, obedience, uh, what is it, basic, non, no nonsense obedience, no that's nonsense what it's called, no nonsense training. obedience, no cookie, no toy uh, type of training, which is like rare uh, these days, or extremely rare, and uh, the art of war, which is a misunderstood video, not misunderstood, but you got to change the name on you it, you got to change the word, yeah. So Did we say we got changed. It's to help. It's basically kind of like helping your dog. Yeah, helping yeah. the dog when, yeah. when they're protecting you. Don't, yeah. don't stand there yeah. and help the dog. L like a vegetarian sausage. <laughs> 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 yeah, looking at it as a vegetarian looks at a sausage. Hans likes to say when we when we do obedience, it's like, well, you corrected that dog like you, you were correcting no, a no, humming, no, no, no. Or hummingbird. The hummingbird. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or are you holding the leash like vegetarian, vegetarian sausage? sausage. <laughs> or as we say in Czech, pig bone. What is it? Oh, pig bone. Pig. How pig holds the bone. Oh, okay. With the hoofs, you know. Okay. Count. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so go to Alpine Canine Reel and uh, hopefully you'll get some of the, the videos and uh, we will see you next time. Ahoy.